In the DC Universe, Blackfire, originally known as Commander, offers a fascinating blend of ambition and resentment, making her a standout villain, especially for fans of the New Teen Titans and the Titans TV series. Born as the first princess of Tamaran, her inability to fly due to a rare disease set her on a path of deep-seated jealousy and betrayal against her younger sister, Starfire. Commander's determination to compensate for her physical limitations through rigorous training led her to align with the Citadel, betraying her people and capturing Starfire. This betrayal sparked a long-standing rivalry characterized by intense battles and complex emotions. Blackfire's eventual rule over Tamaran showcased her ruthless ambition, contrasting sharply with Starfire's heroic journey on Earth. Her powerful energy projection abilities and combat skills make her a formidable foe. Whether in comics, animated series, or live-action portrayals, Blackfire's mix of bitterness, ambition, and occasional moments of vulnerability create a rich, multi-dimensional character that continues to captivate audiences. Hey yo everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving deep into the world of DC's Titans with Starfire's evil sister, Blackfire. Let's start with the packaging. The front of the box prominently displays McParlane Collector Edition DC Multiverse Starfire. Yep, you heard that right. This figure is sold as Starfire because it's the Platinum Edition Chase variant of Starfire. In my opinion, this is one of the worst marketing decisions they've made. This simple recolor transforms the figure into a completely different character. It's like repainting Transformers Starscream black to make Skywarp. Everyone who bought the Starfire figure will definitely love to add her enemy and older sister, Blackfire, to their collection. So why limit its production by making her a chase variant? Anyway, the box has a large clear window showing up the figure and its accessories. On the right side, you'll see McParlane Collector Edition, DC Multiverse Starfire, DC Rebirth. The left side continues the window display and also says McParlane DC Multiverse Starfire and its number in the line, which is 11. Finally, the back of the box features artwork of Starfire from the comics. That's it for the packaging. Now, let's crack this open and see if McParlane did justice to this version of Blackfire in action figure form. The figure stands at 7 inches or 18 centimeters. For accessories, the figure comes with the energy effects that are too big for the figure. Standard McPerlin flight stand. And the art card and art card stand with a short biography at the back of Starfire though because as I said this is marketed as the platinum version of Starfire not Blackfire. Now usually when McPerlin create a chase variant or a platinum edition of their figure it is just completely a different you know repaint of the figure but in this case if you will look at them there's a huge difference in the design, specifically on the torso. So this is not just a complete recolor, but a complete 
slightly different costume design for the platinum version. Now I tried to search some costumes or looks of Blackfire in her comic version through the net and this version I think is the closest one that they tried to replicate in this action figure form. Well, ignoring the head sculpt because I think uh, in this version she, uh, she has a tiara, but if you will look at the costume itself, it's very close to this one. So they obviously are trying to recreate or recolor this uh, torso portion to look like the costume of Blackfire. So again, why would they make this a platinum variant chase? figure i mean i don't really understand maybe they thought you know what let's make the chase variant a completely different figure hey i know her sister blackfire let's create less volume of it and you know let just the sculptor sell it at a very very high price this is a poor marketing choice for mcferlane and unfortunately if the rumors on the new waves are true, they're going to go full on, full on chase variant in this, in this manner. Because I saw the, uh, the Manhunter and I think the Robin and the Sportsmaster and that reverse flash version are completely chase variant which are completely different character of a different figure in a box like for example for every five i think for every five pieces of cyborg you'll get the manhunter or sportsmaster or something like that <laughs> again i don't know what mcferlane is thinking maybe they're thinking you know like you know what we're selling too much figures let's make the other characters which you know the collector might want uh let's let's make less volume of them and let's just let the scalpers control the price and you know who cares about the collectors going back to the figure this is an amazing recaller of the starfire figure the black and silver that they chose is really good and the paint job is really really sharp one thing i want to point out is that this is not pure black there's also a purple wash on it i'm not sure if it is showing in the camera so when when it is hit by a light you will see the you know you will see the purple wash on it which which, which actually looks good this is an amazing figure Unfortunately, because McFarlane made it a chase variant, not all of us collectors will be able to enjoy and get a copy of this figure. Me, I don't know, I just got lucky. I was just, uh, uh, usually when I free order online, um, if I don't get the platinum version of the product, I'll just forget about it. I mean, I was not even looking at this, but if I see it in the wild, I will buy it. Like, like what happened here because especially here in the philippines this chase variants that mcfarlane are are doing man they're, they're really being abused by sculptors you can see them now on the second market if you are really looking for them they're selling them at not just double but triple the price i mean man that's crazy why would i buy the, why would i buy that this you know i like this figure but why would i buy it at double or triple the price for that price i can already buy a high-end figure like mapex and sh figure art so why buy a mcperlin figure no matter how much i like it for the same price of those import brands uh 
just like uh, just like that red suit Superman in the Plastic Man wave, and that blue version of uh, Night Night Quest or Knights and Batman. Uh, basically, as uh, as Batman, I I already accepted the fact that I won't be able to get my hands on them unless I just yeah I'm not even gonna look for them unless I just really luckily find one in the wild or see it at a very reasonable price. There's no way I'm buying the red Superman for double the price. That's just crazy. So McParlane need to stop doing this. If they if they want to sell more figures, why why limit the volume? Uh this thing that McFarlane is doing, the only thing that benefits, especially in my country here in the Philippines, are only the sculptors and those resellers that love to resell them at double the markup, triple the markup. Yeah. Yeah. That that's really that's really a hit for us collectors and Moving forward, if that uh, if, if what I heard, uh, if the rumor that I heard is true, that as I said, McFarlane will go pull on chase variants of completely different character for every box of figure that they sell. That they sell, like I said, for example, for one box of Cyborg Superman, you will get a chase variant of Manhunter. I mean, that's crazy, man. Why not chase? Why not sell the Manhunter? separately a lot of people especially me who, who is a huge fan of the green lantern i i i want to army build that manhunter but how will you army build it if it is a chase variant again that's a crazy marketing decision for mcperlane and i don't know what they are thinking they want to go pull on on it anyway guys if I'm I'm not gonna go to the articulation of this figure anymore because this is basically the same as the Starfire mold. If you want to see my, uh, if you your your, if you still want to see the articulation of this figure, just look. You know, go to my review of Starfire, basically the same mold. And if you reach this part of my video again, guys, thank you very much. Thank you for the support. And if you've liked my video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And again, guys, enjoy life and keep collecting.